This is a tutorial on how to make a new email in your GoDaddy hosting account. What you're going to do is you're going to go and log into your GoDaddy hosting account. In this case, this uh, is the Your Site Needs Me GoDaddy reseller account, and you'd go to yoursitenewsme.net and log in just like you would on GoDaddy.com. It's going to look exactly like the GoDaddy interface, and this these instructions will also uh, match exactly what you have to do on GoDaddy.com. So you're going to log into your account and you're going to click on my account. When you click on my account, you're going to get this screen right here. Oops. Let's go ahead and re-log in. Okay, we're logged in. If you don't see this screen, simply click on my account. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click over here to email. Now, you should already have this set up, but if you don't, you're looking for, there should be several plans in here, and there'll be a setup, a red setup button, and you're looking for the one that says free hosting, 100 megabytes, U.S. region. Simply choose setup, and then choose any domain that's in the list. It does not matter what the domain name is, because you'll be able to make an email on every single, uh, with any of the emails that you have, or any of the domains. Any of the domains that you have currently, it will work with. So you're just going to create the account and it's going to be set up under one specific email address. So what you're going to do when you're done is you're going to come over here and you're going to click on launch and it's going to launch the email control center. This is basically going to be a little screen that's going to come up first. I'm going to click don't show anymore because we don't need it. Um, you should see all your current emails in here. Right now this is a new domain name so I'm waiting for it to propagate so you can ignore this message. But in order to get started, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here. You're going to click Create. It's going to open up this uh, quick email address or this quick Create a New Account box. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in the email address that you want. And as you hit the at symbol, it's going to bring up all your domains here. So choose the domain and it's going to pop it in there. Then you're going to choose your password. Then simply come here and usually I put um, 10 megabytes in here because typically I show you how to set these up which uh, in a like a Gmail account or in Outlook which I will have another tutorial on how to set these up in Gmail so you can watch that one if you want to do that but in this case it really doesn't matter how many megabytes because you're going to be pulling everything off the server you don't need to save anything so it doesn't really matter we're just trying to create the account so I'm going to use 8 I'm going to agree to the terms and create and once it's created, you're going to have an email account pending setup, which all of these will actually be pending setup now that the domain has propagated. And you just have to wait a couple minutes and it'll set itself up. And then when you're done, you will actually come over here and click launch. And it should log you right into your email. Now, one thing to note, um, you're, you can check this online. Usually I just look up here and you can see that it's email21.secureserver.net. Uh, you should also be able to go to email dot the domain name and log in there. You can log in here. So you could just type in the username, the beginning, and their password. Uh, but or you can come over here in the workspace and if you want to set it up in Outlook, you can go to tools and then email info center. And that's going to give you all the information you need, your pop server, standard ports, all that information. The only other thing you're going to need is your username, which is your full email address, the info at, and the domain name, and uh, your password. So, And it gives you little quick instructions on how to download the Outlook setup tool, set up the email in Outlook, auto setup for iOS, for Android, and other email programs. So that's how you create a new email address uh, within your GoDaddy account.